What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to the next test server session right here on War Robots, guys, with a new bulwark as a premium carnage, if you will. As you can see here, I already made three with three different weapon setups, and then we have the new Raven bot as a double jump griffin, kind of, uh, with the same weapons, but having the double jump ability, okay? Let's go right into the test server. You see we have a bit of a problem here, the text not being displayed properly, which isn't really a bit problem here. Uh, Beacon Rush, that's, that's a game mode we have right now, and uh, we're running the... Um, Redeemer Boulevard right away um, Some graphics has been reworked as you can see. I think the lighting has changed on the valley map. It looks a bit different I think I would probably even prefer the old one, but um, yeah, that's kind of the, a few changes. Then we have changes to the cannon, uh, the Nashorn, and the, the Trident, which I'm going to show you as well. For now, let's focus on the new Bulwark. You can see it's, um, yeah, we have no rush ability like the Carnage has, uh, but we have a shield that is displayed as active when you have this yellow orb going ab above it. And this type of energy shield is different. It actually blocks every weapon damage. Even energy weapon damage is being blocked by this shield. And uh, you can see he's got his shield now active. See, I'm firing with Redeemer at him, but he's blocking this type of damage still, and now it's down. And he has to now press the button to deactivate his shield in order to regenerate it. That's right, it only regenerates after you deactivate the ability. And then you will activate your physical shield on the bulwark. It's a really, really interesting and weird, um, uh, weird new mechanic that's going on here. And, uh, but certainly I think it's it seems balanced to me because you only have one shield active at all times. However, as you know, you might as well have two since you only uh, activate the other one when the other one was depleted, right? So let's see if maybe we can shoot on top of him right there. Uh, that is another bulwark. You can see we're, we're bringing down the shield. Okay, no, never mind. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Uh, plasma bug was kind of coming into effect right there. See, I'm being hit by a lot of different things, uh, but my shield is blocking it. But my shield is not regenerating health. You see that, right? We're not regenerating any damage. The flux comes in. We're dealing. We're taking damage, and now I have to deactivate the ability so that my physical shield comes active, and um, the uh, the energy shield starts regenerating in the background. So nice. All right. So far, so good. Oh, we have. Wow, they're really just walking down. Uh, over there, through there. I don't know why. <laughs> Anyways, I'm uh, I'm regenerating my shield now because the uh, the ability is dropped, right? And when the ability is dropped, I have a physical shield protecting me from the front. I need to figure out which type, uh, which it is exactly is the physical shield. It has a hundred thousand health at first. And um, yo, they're all standing around right there. I don't know why. So I'm now activating my energy shield, see that? I'm blocking the rocket damage and uh, and then I activate the physical shield again so that the um, energy shield starts regenerating. It's a weird match we have going because everyone is just walking like through on very weird locations where normally there's nobody walking through. Huh. They walked like all of them worked, uh, walked here to the right side, passed everything, took these this beacon, now got ca taken out at the center. Oh, activate the energy shield because it protects me from this damage. Uh-oh, we have a Fujin right here. And I think the same thing goes here as well. Try not to go too close to your enemy, because even this shield here, I suppose, has an inner orb, um, or an in, like an, 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 is, is an orb, and if you go into this shield, you will most likely be able to bypass this thing, right? So since he learned that he can't damage me, he's not even going to attempt that anymore. Even though I am currently regenerating the shield and not having it active, it's displayed as a different blue. It's a deeper blue uh, when it's not active. This is, you see the bright blue right there of the enemy target? That's active shielding. And if he's inactive, it will be a deeper blue, like a darker blue. So I wish this guy would just get behind me because then I can shield him. Here we go. I'm activating my shield now. All the rockets coming in are being blocked. However, he seems to have more firepower that I cannot no longer block now. And there is a little bit of a problem with the uh, with the Redeemer. It has a. It, it seems sometimes it deals damage to delayed on the test server. And uh, and there's another problem that it. I hit the reload button now. Uh, then it will actually reload normally. But if you don't hit the reload button. Uh, then it will it will reload and it will be done with reloading and it's still it's still not firing at the enemy so there are a couple of glitches going on during this test server um, but it's it's all uh, all good it's all wor working relatively well 
Um, some back connection issues. <laughs> he was trying to take on the shield and activate that first quick. So here's a double jump griffin. It's called the raven now. See, I can jump once and jump a, no a second time too. And um, basically uh, get, a get cross more distance really quickly. That's what this, this bot is all about. And it's doing that really well. Um, it's fun to play. And it definitely, this bot is definitely not overpowered in any way. I, uh, I've already checked it out. It's just basically a, a griffin that can jump twice. Has not, doesn't have more firepower, and uh, it doesn't have more HP. I think it's, uh, it simply, uh, you know, fire uh, jumps twice. But it's, it looks really cool. It very, it looks even very similar to the actual griffin. Man, I'm taking tons of damage right here. I don't know who's all firing at me, but that's weird. Uh, that's ridiculous. And and the guy I'm firing is, that's a bul bulwark, right? The reason why he's still alive is because he's got the physical shielding protecting him, but it's now gone. I, I depleted the whole physical shield on him. And that Lancelot is taking some heat. Oh no, I'm getting hit from behind. Ah! Okay. So where do we go? Let's go into another one of those double jump griffins, the raven. I still call them griffins because that's what they look like for me. And there is one of them is jumping, look. And f uh, he's jumping again. I can't fire yet because my weapons are homing in. Now I need to fire. Boom! Because that was the perfect time to strike when he lands. And uh, since he had a a next a an additional jump, I need to wait a little bit for that landing to come into effect. Here we go, rockets coming in. Boom! Yep, so I think the lighting has changed, you can see it right here. Um, the trident, I haven't used it yet, we're gonna ch um, do this in a few seconds. Uh, in the next match I'm gonna use a trident. Let's start the next match right away, we've done 700 something thousand damage, capture two beacons. Pretty good rounds overall, and it's one on my, my favorite map anyway, so I love it. Uh, the trident now has a normal reloading mechanic, same as Tulumba, so you can f just fire one rocket and then reload it, and fire then all two two rockets, reload, and then all three if you like, and you can have can be more uh, more quick with it. Let's go and go, uh, choose the trident um, bulwark here right away. Uh, the design here, if we take a look at this, uh, if you activate the frontal, if you deactivate the shield, then you will activate the physical shielding, and I think that the thing on the on the ground will then go up. Let's do this. Ah, look, now that's what it looks like from the front now. It, it activates, basically it, it protects this inner shield section that it has on the front. The uh, the shield generator is being protected by this physical shield that goes up. It's uh, it's kind of like an all-around physical shield from the front. Really cool. Um, and yeah, so also the Trident launcher only has 500 meters range, I think. It does no longer have 600 meters. Let's go and try that real quick. Fire. Wait a minute, we actually did reach him, did we? Yeah, we are reaching him. Maybe they did did go back on the range. Uh, and made it now have uh, 600 again. Because they had it, at first they had it with 500 meters range. I'm walking away from him. Nobody's shooting at me, so I'm deactivating my shield, bringing up the physical shield, so I can regenerate some of my shield energy in the meantime. He's jumping again because it's the double jump griffin, but he only has 300 meters range, and he just got stuck at the bridge, so no problem right there. <laughs> He's getting the beacon, though. And as you can see here, the damage output from the trident is really weak. Like, it's even though it has been improved or increased by 20%, it still seems to deal so little damage that we can barely get this guy killed right there. Still trying... Uh, now he's jumping, of course. A fury is coming up. That's a, that's a tough enemy right there, the fury. Boom. One more time. One more shot. Come on, go. And... Yes. Alright, he's got 350 meters range, so I need to stay out of that a little bit. The Fury isn't really faster. See, we are, we're running slightly faster than the Fury is. I'm activating my shield now because somebody's Zeusing me. But the problem is I don't need to actually hit him. I don't know what his problem is. Do you see him following me around the entire map? What is this guy's problem with me? <laughs> oh man, YouTube Money is probably the name that attracts him right here. Uh, this guy doesn't have a shield active. Only the physical shield, so I can hit him pr pretty, pretty well with my um, tridents right here. Boom, boom, boom. See him coming. He's still coming. This guy is still coming right there. Wow, this is insane. <laughs> All right. He's got uh, some some kind of personal issue with me, apparently. So there's a, uh, a thing I can hit. Let's go and attack them. Alright, I'm trying to regenerate some of my shielding, but it's not helping anymore. 
Now I've been inside this guy's shield, but the problem, of course, is that my 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 damage output is extremely low, right? Uh, let's go with the Plasma Griffin really quickly here, because I think we could really use some high DPS for now. Um, and try to capture a few beacons, because right now we're really bad on the beacon control. Yeah, so there goes one of them. And they're all using Vortex and Aphid right now, see that? It's crazy. Everyone is using this now. <laughs> oh boy. I can't get in range and in safety, unfortunately. There's too many guys focusing me right now. They have the center beacon. This is like the worst. They have us completely cut off from any other type of beacon right now. This is really, really bad. We should never have gotten ourselves into a situation like that. Firing, and he's jumping away. Oh, you're still able to get firing? Yo, okay, I thought he was out of range now. Man, this match is incredibly bad. Look, they uh, now they spawn here, and I've got absolutely no chance to, uh, to get... He doesn't see me, though. What the heck? Oh, now he's seeing me. Let's walk into this shield and try to go fire from within. See, we were able to deal some good damage from within the shield, but it's just, I, it feels like I'm the only one playing on this map in my team. It seriously feels like I'm the only player on my team. <laughs> what the heck is going on right here? Oh my god. Um, so bringing out this guy. This guy. No, oh, he's out of range. Well, this was seriously the worst match I've ever seen in, uh, in War Robots. It's like, I don't know. Uh, they cut, off, cut us off from all types of beacons, and they on Beacon Rush simply spawned there. And, uh, yeah. But I think I've been able to give you a really good overview on the test server. Sh shall we do another match? I think it were, let's let's make it dependent on the map that comes up and how quickly we can find it. Um, let me ch quickly check if I have not missed anything. The Trident has a... Apparently 600 meters range again. Hopefully it keeps the 25% damage boost. Uh, that is really, really good on that on, on that um, bot, I think, and uh, on that weapon. We, the, we have the reload button that you can trigger now to use when you use punishers, for example, and you need them to reload. Then you can just press the button and they will now reload. And that's really good because otherwise you have to fire empty the punishers. And it's really problematic on weapons like Scourge. You have to fire empty the weapon Scourge in order to make it reload, but you need a target in range to be able to do so. And that was really stupid now they have gone so that you can basically uh, trigger the reload simply by pressing the button and that's definitely a good thing to do um, but at the same time it will probably not help an orkin an orkin uh, will probably not get any bonus from this that's a quick um, a quick jesse coming up interesting i've never seen a jesse on the test server or at least not in a long time Ah, uh, now he's changing direction. I got him a little bit there. I'm going up here. That's a good position for me to be on. All right, that should it be for it, it, blah, 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 that should be it for the Jesse. Okay, so you know what? Let's let's play this one more round because uh, finally it seems like we have a team with that's capable of taking some beacons, and uh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Uh oh, the 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 Griffin is more dangerous. I should have you know, focus the griffin, because it's the one that deals much more damage than I do, and he can just jump up here. And, yo, I, I'm, I'm seriously outperformed here. Look look how many guys they're coming, from all angles. Alright, I need to wait for him to land so I can trigger the good shot. Here we go, and boom! Now, that was a really good shot with the with these weapons, but I'm, I'm being hit by too many enemies right now. I don't think I can... I uh, can't defend myself from that much firepower. And they're even capturing this beacon again. Oh my goodness. So they will probably be respawning right in front of us there. Yeah. Dealing some damage right there. But we are in control of three other beacons right now. So it's overall not the worst thing that's happening. Let's spawn in the middle. That's always the good, good point to spawn. And... Um, Especially when they fire at you with these kind of weapons that has to have to really hit you very well during um, And when you jump you are very hard to target uh, with With vortex aphid and stuff like that um, I'm focusing him right now because maybe I'll be able to get this. Hopefully he's he has to reload before he kills me. Oh, come on I was really now. You know what now? He's reloading now. He is triggering his reload because uh, I have he's pff, Oh my god, his his five shots were exactly what he needed in order to get through me. Oh man. So I'm activating the physical shield now. And I'm killing him. 
No, he's already dead destroyed. Okay. Can I bypass some of his his defense on this thing? Maybe I can pass shoot past the shield a little bit. See, I'm I'm being hit by something else again. Something else is hitting me from the side or so. I think I will never get I'm never never gonna be able to capture this beacon because it's every time I try there's something else happening. Some some other dude jumps in, attacks me too. See, he's looking at me right now. He has fired into my backside. All right, I have uh, more things to choose from. The trident here. Okay, but it deals zero damage. <laughs> oh man, see, this is the problem now. We're running a bot that has like next to no firepower at all. This is all I can do. It's it's so the trident is is just not apt up to date in this game. It's it's supposed to be a heavy weapon, and as a heavy weapon, it is supposed to deal heavy damage. The damage the damage it deals is ridiculous damage. That's how we should call that. Hmm. So it's it's def it's just not up to date. Uh, and uh, twenty percent more firepower. I think they took it away from it anymore because it seems to do even less than last time on the test server. I'm not sure about this, but that's what it feels like to me. That it has just gone back on the uh, on the old to the old balancing. Um, but you know, I'll I'll read that into the uh, when I get the to the feedback form. Let's activate the shield because we can. All right. What is the other bot I have? The other bot is a Zeus, um, a Zeus uh, thing with this singer. Let's walk into the shield. Let's let him walk. Yep. Now see, he can fire at me directly now because he walked into my shield. Interesting. So you can use this as an uh, as a technique to uh, basically just walk into the shielding and uh, make the shield worthless by walking in there. So I'm regenerating. <laughs> what a freaking mess this is! Look on this bridge. There's everyone is here. Everyone and their mother is here, and just I don't know, defending, attacking. So crazy. And that's why on Beacon Rush you have such a problem, like sometimes ca capturing beacons because they can simply, you know, spawn there and make it impossible for you to take that beacon. All right, I'm activating my physical shield again to block me to block the damage. Oh, you know what? I think they actually got through my physical shielding now. Somebody's attacking here, and uh, I'm coming in to defend. Of course, the problem here, once again, he's got the weapon with a massive DPS. Uh, I have to get through this first. I'm gonna fire one of my weapons now to act kill the shield. Alright, now we're through his... I'm making him miss. He's missing his shots the whole time. Do you notice that? Because every time I walk very fast to the right and to the left, and he keeps missing. Somebody's helping me against him now, thankfully. <laughs> because a brawling weapon with a versus a sniping weapon in close range isn't exactly the good thing. Uh, and you know what I forgot? I did for I for I had forgotten to activate my energy shield reload. Ha! <laughs> Oops. Hmm. Yeah, he's slowly breaking through my energy shield. Uh, to, through my physical shield in the front. But I think I should also be working. He should activate his shielding now. You notice that? He's missing that. He could have activated his shield. He was at 100% and he didn't do that. And that's why he took like a lot of uh, unnecessary damage at the end, which he could have been able to block. Wow, look how fast that Fujin went. Why did the Fujin not activate the shield? What is wrong with these guys? <laughs> None of them activate the shield. Now I'm activating mine because it's full and when you have the shield ability, uh, you know, the shield full at, at full strength on the bulwark, just activate it because it, bl it blocks every type of damage and you don't need to use your physical shielding for that. That cannot regenerate, right? So yeah, like, like I said, this is um, hopefully a good display of everything that was in the game, the reload button. Uh, I would like to have this on the live server as well because I think it's like a long overdue <laughs> and um, other than that I think uh, we have some graphical changes which seems to be more like lightning uh, lighting things I mean and uh, the Nashorn uh, had a rebalance let's go and check it out real quick uh, it uh, it seems to have uh, do they say no it still seems says, says 1100 meters but I think they mean that it has only 600 with a higher DPM so a higher a shorter reload with the same damage pretty much and um, 
yeah so that's the test server for this week guys and uh, we're probably gonna see some of these problems from time to time with some textures problems or text uh, text uh, missing text or something like this but it's not really that bad right we can just still play the game and enjoy it and um, yeah just so you know there is a little bit buck of uh, with a redeemer when you fire it empty on the bulwark uh, without using the reload button somehow there is it takes longer for you to be able to fire again just giving that quick little uh, bug report right here anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video leave a like and comment down below and if you uh, down below and if you haven't already hit subscribe it's brutal as a man can it for more uh, for more thanks for watching uh, uh, thanks ah, God. i'm now i'm now i totally messed it up see you guys around next time and have a good one <laughs> bye bye oh man messing up my out my own outro what the heck <laughs>